and there on the bed's doorstep, not that one, on the bed's doorstep was a little dog, very lame, and going like that. Throughout history, numerous intriguing phenomena have arisen, leaving us puzzled when viewing historical photos devoid of context. Join us on a journey as we unveil 20 rare historical images, ranging from renowned figures to extraordinary inventions. Prepare to be mesmerized by these captivating snapshots that defy explanation. Number 20, first photograph ever taken. No video exploring the history of photography would be complete without showcasing this iconic image, even if its details may seem somewhat obscure at first glance. What you're observing is none other than the oldest, or more accurately, the first photograph ever taken. This pioneering photograph was captured around 1826 or 1827 in a quaint French town by a man named Joseph Nicephore Niepce. Niepce, a curious inventor and true pioneer in the nascent field of photography, embarked on a groundbreaking experiment that would forever alter the course of visual documentation. His invention, known as heliography, revolutionized the process of capturing images. The heliography process involved coating a pewter plate with a light-sensitive substance called bitumen of Judea. When exposed to light, this substance would harden, with the brighter parts of the image becoming fixed on the plate while the unexposed areas remained soft and washable. Now picture Niepce meticulously setting up his camera obscura, a rudimentary device consisting of a simple box with a tiny aperture that projected the outside scene onto a surface within the box. From the window of his upper story workspace, he aimed the camera obscura towards a rather ordinary view. Rooftops, a distant tree, and the skyline capturing a slice of everyday life. What makes this seemingly mundane scene extraordinary is its significance as the subject of the world's first successful photograph, known as View from the Window at Le Gras. The exposure time for this historic photograph wasn't measured in mere seconds or minutes, but rather in hours, perhaps even days. Reports suggest that the exposure lasted at least eight hours, and some accounts even propose several days. The resulting image though grainy and modest by modern standards, remains an unmistakable representation of a moment frozen in time. It marked the dawn of a new era, the era of photography. As the first successful attempt to permanently capture a natural scene using a combination of camera, optics and chemical processes. Despite its simplicity, this photograph holds immense historical significance paving the way for the visual storytelling medium we know today. Number 19. No canine left behind. The woman depicted in this photograph is none other than Kate Ward, renowned across Europe as Camberley Kate, a true champion of animal welfare. Born in Middlesbrough in 1895, her journey towards becoming a beacon of compassion for animals began with a simple act of kindness in 1943, when she rescued a distressed dog. This pivotal moment ignited Kate's lifelong dedication to the well-being of animals. With unwavering determination, Kate traversed the streets of the United Kingdom, tirelessly pushing a handmade two-wheeled cart, her mission clear, to rescue stray dogs. Each day, from dawn till dusk, she scoured neighborhoods, offering food, shelter, and love to countless abandoned animals. By the time of her passing in 1979, Kate had provided sanctuary to at least 600 dogs, along with several felines who found solace under her care. Despite the enormity of her task, Katie never lost sight of the individual stories behind each animal she encountered. She not only provided for their immediate needs, but also advocated for broader changes, championing leash laws and dog rights. Her efforts did not go unnoticed. Kate's compassion and dedication captured the hearts of people nationwide, garnering attention from the press, television, and even reaching across the Atlantic. And there, on the bed's doorstep, not that one, on the bed's doorstep was a little dog, very lame, and going like that. 
The outpouring of support for Kate's cause was immense, with donations of food, blankets, and funds flooding in from all corners. Empowered by this wave of solidarity, Kate expanded her reach, extending a lifeline to more dogs in need. Even in her twilight years, she remained steadfast in her mission, surrounded by the grateful companions whose lives she had transformed. Kate's legacy transcended her mortal existence, inspiring countless individuals to follow in her footsteps, advocating for the voiceless and vulnerable creatures who share our world. Her impact continues to ripple through time, a testament to the enduring power of compassion and the profound bond between humans and animals. Number 18. Garden Hermits Forget gnomes. In 18th century England, rich folks decorated their gardens with something far stranger, real live hermits. These weren't statues, but people who lived in specially built caves or huts on the estate. More than just fancy decorations, these hermits represented a simpler, more peaceful life surrounded by nature. Guests would come to see them, seeking advice or just enjoying the oddity. While some might find it weird or even unfair, for the hermits, it was a way to make a living living alone. The idea of garden hermits goes back a bit further to the 1400s, but it really took off in England during the 1700s, reflecting a love of nature and a desire to escape the busy world. The first documented hermit house popped up in 1727, and for a while, these hermits were all the rage. Even though it seems strange today, garden hermits offer a window into a different time. Back then, being alone in nature was considered a cool thing, almost like an art form. Number 17. Century-old selfie. This 1920s mirror selfie shows how creative people were with limited cameras. Unlike our constant social media selfies, these were rare finds back then. Selfies exploded in the 2010s, but the idea goes way back. In 1839, Robert Cornelius took a long-exposure selfie, a technical feat for the time. Before digital cameras, only skilled artists or photographers captured self-portraits. Today's smartphones make selfies easy, but this vintage image reminds us how special capturing yourself once was. Number 16. National Selfie Day in Space In a remarkable moment of history, Buzz Aldrin captured an iconic selfie of our planet during the Gemini 12 mission in November 1966. This mission, aimed at testing space travel techniques crucial for the Apollo missions to the moon, saw Aldrin and Commander Jim Lovell orbiting Earth while conducting groundbreaking experiments, including spacewalks. Equipped with a Hasselblad camera modified for space, Aldrin deftly maneuvered to take the snapshot, despite the challenges posed by bulky space gloves. The Hasselblad, known for its high-quality imaging, utilized a 70 mm film magazine designed to withstand the rigors of the space environment. This selfie stands as a testament to Aldrin's pioneering spirit and serves as a captivating reminder of humanity's ventures beyond the confines of our home planet. Number 15. Seconds Before Happiness Across the annals of time, the bond between humans and animals has been unmistakable. Consider this touching photograph titled, Seconds Away from Happy Happiness. A young boy on the brink of meeting his new best friend, an image brimming with warmth and anticipation. If you're as captivated by this moment as I am, let's continue the dialogue. Share your own tales of delight and surprise in the comments below, celebrating the enduring companionship between humans and animals that transcends generations and touches our hearts. Number 14, a beach trip during the Victorian era. What you're observing are bathing machines, an ingenious solution devised in the 18th and 19th centuries to address the social taboo of men and women mingling on the beach in swimwear. These wooden huts on wheels, approximately the size of a garden shed, served as mobile changing rooms. Beachgoers would enter these machines on the shore, don their often elaborate bathing attire, and then be wheeled out into the water for a dip. Thankfully, societal norms have evolved, rendering these cumbersome contraptions obsolete in today's more relaxed beach culture. Number 13, Golden Age of Air Travel. Flying today can be a drag, reclining seats, bad airplane food, we've all been there. But imagine a different era, the 1950s, the golden age of air travel. Back then, flying was an event. Passengers dressed up, cabins were spacious, 
and flight attendants served gourmet meals on real plates. It was a luxury, though. Tickets cost up to five times more than today. Still, for those who could afford it, it was an adventure. Then came the jet age in the late 1950s. Jets like the Boeing 707 made flights way faster, shrinking the world. Today's airplanes might not be as fancy, but they're incredibly fast and safe. Technology made travel affordable for many. Sure, we might have less leg room and extra fees, but we get to our destinations quicker and more reliably than ever before. Number 12. FBI Fingerprints Files Database Files database computers have made life easier, especially when it comes to information access. Today, finding a recipe or searching patient files takes seconds. But before computers, things were much different. Take the FBI's fingerprint files division in the 1970s. With millions of fingerprint cards, finding a match was no easy feat. Back then, fingerprints were meticulously sorted and stored in giant filing cabinets. Each card was indexed by hand using a complex system based on fingerprint patterns. New fingerprints meant a manual search through these massive files by skilled workers, mostly women. Finding a match with just a keen eye was impressive. Despite being slow, they handled thousands of requests daily. Then came computers. Now, systems like the automated fingerprint identification system can search millions of records in seconds. This incredible evolution shows how technology has transformed information management. It's a fascinating contrast between the old ways and the power of modern innovation. Number 11. The Most Brilliant Minds on the Planet This 1927 photo isn't your average group shot. It's a meeting of the minds. Einstein, Curie, Bohr, all the scientific greats of the era gathered for the Solvay Conference. This wasn't just any meeting. It was about a revolutionary idea quantum theory. Scientists debated its strange implications like Einstein's famous God doesn't play dice remark. Bohr disagreed, defending the theory. The photo is iconic because it shows 29 brilliant minds, in including 17 Nobel laureates, at a turning point in science. Even Marie Curie stands out, not just for being a woman, but for her groundbreaking work in radioactivity. Number 10. Post-mortem photograph. This photo might look like a regular family portrait, but one person is actually deceased. This unsettling practice, called post-mortem photography, was popular in the 1800s. Back then, photos were rare and expensive, so these pictures served as a way to remember loved ones who had passed away. Death was a much more common part of life back then, and these photos helped families cope with loss. People would be posed to look like they were sleeping or even standing, sometimes with props or help from family, creating an illusion of life. They'd be dressed up in their best clothes, holding favorite toys, or surrounded by cherished items to make the photo more personal. As photography became cheaper and attitudes towards death shifted, this practice became less common. Better healthcare also meant fewer people died young further reducing the need for these photos. By the 20th century, post-mortem photography faded away. Number 9. Bed for one for four pennies. Today's pricey Airbnbs seem like luxury compared to 19th century London's budget accommodations. During the booming Industrial Revolution, the city was a rich poor mix. For just four pennies a night, the poorest could snag a spot in a coffin-like bed. These weren't exactly comfy hotels, but they offered a roof over your head, which was crucial for those struggling to survive. There were even some perks, sometimes a shared kitchen and even a free morning tea or coffee. While these conditions seem shocking now, they highlight the harsh realities faced by past generations. It's also a reminder of human spirit's incredible ability to adapt and find ways to cope, even in the toughest situations. Number 8. Dinosphere Imagine a giant metal donut zooming down the beach at 30 MEP. That wasn't science fiction, but the dinosphere, a real invention from the 1930s by Dr. J. A. Purvis. This wasn't your average car. The dinosphere was a giant 10-foot diameter wheel with the driver sitting inside, steering this odd contraption. Inspired by minimal rolling resistance, Dr. Purvis took things to the extreme. 
despite looking like a recipe for disaster, the Dinosphere could actually move. It even came in gas and electric versions. But piloting this giant metal ring wasn't easy. Balancing was tricky, especially at speed or on uneven ground. Turning corners must have been an exciting and potentially terrifying adventure. While the Dinosphere never caught on, it showcased Dr. Purvis's creativity. It makes you wonder, with some tweaks, could this giant wheel have become a real mode of transportation? The Dinosphere might be a quirky footnote in history, but it's a reminder of the daring ideas that pave the way for future innovation. Number 7. Hachiko This isn't just a dog picture, it's a monument to loyalty. Hachiko, a Japanese Akita, stole hearts with his unwavering devotion. Every day, Hachiko would wait at Shibuya Station for his owner, Professor Ueno, to return home from work. But tragedy struck in 1925 when Professor Ueno passed away. Undeterred, Hachiko kept his vigil for nine years, a symbol of hope and loyalty. Station workers cared for him, touched by his unwavering love. Hachiko's story became a national sensation, a testament to the deep bond between humans and animals. Though Hachiko eventually passed away, his legacy lives on. A statue stands in his honor at Shibuya Station, a reminder of his dedication. Hachiko's story continues to inspire, a timeless tale of love and loyalty that transcends even death. Number 6. Link at Hands At first glancy, this may seem like an ordinary statue, but it holds a profound story of love overcoming barriers. Known as the Linked Hands Statue, it represents the poignant tale of Colonel J.C.P.H. Van Ion and noblewoman Van Gorham. In the 19th century Netherlands, societal norms dictated strict separation based on religious and political affiliations, a practice known as pillarization. Despite belonging to different religious backgrounds, Colonel Aon, a Protestant, and Van Gorham, a Catholic, they defied societal conventions and married. When Colonel Aon passed away, followed by Van Gorham, they faced the challenge of being buried together due to the rigid pillarization laws. Yet, even in death, their love prevailed as they found a loophole to rest beside each other for eternity, symbolized by the linked hand statue. Number 5. IBM Hard Drive – Forget Bulky Filing Cabinets Today's tiny hard drives hold gigabytes of data, but imagine telling someone in 1900 that a 2-gram square could store thousands of photos. Back then, hard drives were pure science fiction. In 1956, IBM introduced the world's first hard drive, the IBM 305 Ramac. This giant machine weighed a ton and needed forklifts to move. Shockingly, it only held 5 megabytes, less than a single photo on your phone today. But it was revolutionary. It allowed data access from any point, unlike slow tape drives. Leasing this behemoth cost a whopping $3,200 a month, around $30,000 today. But companies loved it for data management. From these giants to today's tiny terabyte chips, hard drives showcase incredible technological progress. What was once mind-blowing engineering is now a tiny everyday tool that keeps our digital world running smoothly. Number 4. Female Samurai Picture skilled warriors with katanas. That's the samurai image. But who were they, really? Samurai were Japan's powerful military elite, rising in the 12th century. They were expert fighters, loyal to their daimyo, landowners, and known for their honor and discipline. Mostly men, samurai were employed by daimyo in exchange for land or positions. But there were also onabugeisha, female samurai. Trained in martial arts, they defended their homes when their husbands were away fighting. While samurai used various weapons, history mostly focused on male warriors. Now, with more interest in women's history, we're learning about these fierce female samurai. From protecting their families to fighting in battles, they were highly skilled and courageous. By recognizing their contributions, we gain a richer understanding of Japan's past and the different roles people played in its development. Number 3. Knocker Up in London Imagine needing a human alarm clock. In London's Victorian era, people relied on knock-ups to wake them for work. These early morning rouseabouts used sticks, batons, 
or even pea shooters to tap on windows and knock on doors. Waking up has always been tough, and knock-ups faced the same struggle. People hired them for regular wake-up calls, but snooze buttons wouldn't exist for a while. As clocks became cheaper and work schedules changed, knock-ups became obsolete. They're a reminder of how machines replaced traditional jobs. Now, here's a photo you won't forget. A mysterious creature supposedly from South American forests. The exact location? A mystery. The grainy photo fuels skepticism. Fakes like the Fiji mermaid, sewn monkey and fish, have fooled people before. But real creatures like the dodo were once thought to be fake too. So is this Yeti real? The jury's out. When it comes to extraordinary claims, it's up to you to decide what's real and what's not. Number two, war tubas. This isn't a giant microphone, it's a war tuba. World War I, pre-radar, demanded creative solutions for spotting enemy aircraft. These massive acoustic locators, used by countries like Japan and Britain, relied on sound. The idea, amplify sounds to hear approaching planes before they were visible. Soldiers operated these horn-like instruments, some so big they needed trucks. They'd point them skyward, listening through headphones for the faint hum of an engine. Early warning meant time to prepare defenses. While ingenious, war tubas had limitations. Background noise and weather made them unreliable. In perfect conditions, they might detect planes from kilometers away, but their effectiveness dropped as planes got faster and flew higher. The invention of radar in the late 1930s sealed their fate. Radar could reliably detect aircraft from much farther distances, no matter the weather. By World War II's end, war tubas were relics, reminders of a time when listening was the best technology for spotting enemies in the skies. Number 1. Cincinnati Library Is anyone in the audience from Cincinnati? If so, you might find this intriguing. This photograph captures the Cincinnati Library before its demolition. Constructed in 1874, the library boasted Victorian architecture with a striking Gothic revival style, making it a prominent landmark in the city. Its main hall was particularly breathtaking, featuring cast iron book stacks. While it seemed like a paradise for bookworms, by the 1950s, the library was considered outdated and unsafe. Consequently, Demolition commenced in 1955, marking the end of an era for this architectural gem. Thanks for joining us on this captivating journey through history. We've explored a myriad of intriguing stories. Don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating content, and let us know in the comments which historical photo amazed you the most.